a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen. You never do. <laughs> We're here again. It's not Tuesday. Not Tuesday. <laughs> Oh, it's not. goodness. Yes. But this is a really cute we're design. Kind of, it it's, is. I'm really liking it. Yeah, we're kind of matchy. We're kind of here. Let me do this and we'll match yeah, even matchy, better. matchy. See, look at that. Ta-da. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Blue Wednesday. It's Blue Wednesday. Ta-da. Yeah. My shirt not holding the mic very well. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is our second digital dealer exclusive. It so is. So month two. Month two, which um, is February. Yes. February is that month that yep. has that Roo. weird, yeah. Roo. That everybody spells wrong everybody to start with. To start with, yes. Yeah. Hopefully, we get it right by the time we're <laughs> in <laughs> this era yeah. of our life. <laughs> and if not, that's why they make spell check, right? <laughs> um, yeah, it does kind of auto fill at this point. It does, yeah. yeah. Some good, of those good things. things. <laughs> good things. All right. So, um, we did switch uh, today's um, live day from. La next week to this week because next week we have clubs on Wednesday and um <clears throat> zip it <laughs> peanut gallery <laughs> well as long as you're quiet um, can we you turn the camera around if you're going to do that it's just a button <laughs> you could be on camera in a minute Tony <laughs> Be quiet. Just a button. Okay. All right. Sorry so, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, apologies if you miss the live show on, um, you know, cause obviously it's so very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, you can catch us of course on recording if, mm -hmm. but, um, we'll be sending out all of the dates that we're going to be doing. They're not going to necessarily be the last Wednesdays, um, because of clubs. So, Keep your eye out for what day we'll be doing that. Yes. All right. All right. So today we're going to do a trapunto design, which it's been a little while yeah, since definitely. we've done trapunto. So I don't know that we've ever done it quite like this. I don't think we've ever done it quite it's like kind of, this. It's a Kimberwell way. Kimberwell? Kimberwell way. <laughs> Kimberwell way. You want to try that again? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Sarah took a few minutes and um, did stitch out side one. So we do. Oops, I was on the camera. <laughs> Hi. It's okay. Um, so we've got um, one side already done, and we have a slightly variegated. It's not like a stark variegated, um, but there is um, some lighter and darker colors in there, and that is what we chose. We looked at a bunch of different colors. Mm -hmm. um, a gold would look really nice in here. A gray, uh, a deep gray. Um, a, the teal, obviously mm -hmm. we liked that. So we kind of went that route and um, what was it? Uh, some other ones that we looked at? The lime greens. The lime greens. Those looked, looked really, really nice cool. as well. Mm -hmm. So whatever um, kind of floats your boat, you've got a lot of options um, that you can personalize that based on whatever color thread that you choose. Um, and for the um, beginning aspects, we have in a standard embroidery bobbin and um, we going to use white thread, it looks like. To start with. To start off with. Mm -hmm. And then when we get to the quilting portion, we're going to put in that really pretty thread. So we'll show that on camera so you guys can see what it is that we're using. Mm -hmm. um, and Because it's a little different, so I we'll talk about that. did put a size 90 Microtex needle in. Uh, we're gonna we're going to be using through some, a little bit of stuff. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to be, and we're using a, a slightly different uh, thread that's a little bit thicker for the quilting. And we wanted to make sure that that worked. Well, I don't believe that a size 75 needle would work well with, with the quilting thread. thread because this is not a, what we're using for the quilting is not your standard embroidery thread. Yeah, so so um, if you're going to experiment with some threads, make sure you also, make sure you also experiment with that needle to get the best stitch. Yeah. Um, but if you are sticking with your standards, then you can ignore that. <laughs> yes. That part. Yes. Um, you don't have to change your needle based on the project. We're changing it based on the thread that we're using yes. for the project. Um, just for clarification. Yes. So um, in your kits, um, we went with the um, teal and... <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Where did that come from? Twitter. <laughs> All right. Love the things that pop up on that screen. You just never know what you're going to see. Um, so again, we've got one side done. Um, and we went with that um, dusty teal 
uh, velveteen bag instead of the mustard one. Um, that's what our kits are. There's of course many choices that you could put this design on. That's just what we're working mm -hmm. with. Um, and so if you got one of our kits, that is what you are working with yes. as well. And it does come in two sizes it and does. we did get the bigger ones. The bigger ones of the two. So you can see um, we do have, of course, the zipper and um, we have a standard cutaway, not a mesh cutaway, which is also a little bit different than a lot of what we do and this kind of thing. So it's got a little bit different feel, but we're doing a little bit different stuff. Right. So I think that, um, you know, I, you were talking about how you usually like it to be squishier, mm -hmm. but I wonder if the Trapunto yeah. If, if it the, was squishy, you wouldn't feel it. Right. If it probably wouldn't have popped because mm -hmm. the, the, the it doesn't have anything to fight against. Well, right. Not fight right. against, but push against. Push against. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so you we've got um, some foam in there. So mm -hmm. in your kits, you should have gotten a piece of foam that's twice as big as this. You can see I've cut off part of that in there as well. So shall we get started? We shall. Um, we shall. We so we have, have the six by ten hoop. And we also have a standard, uh, like Lisa was saying, this is just a heavyweight cutaway. And um, we're doing the larger of the two designs. So there is a five by seven and a six by ten, six by ten version of this. I what did you drink at lunch today? Apparently not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or too much, not yeah. sure. Not uh, not a balanced not one a either. Balanced one, no. <laughs> All right. So the first stitch is just a squaring stitch. Um, do we want to talk about the prep or should we do that when we get over there? Um, let's, uh, so everybody knows to do this part. So uh, you don't need anything special in here. So I'm just going to push the go button and it's just going to give us our placement line for the Trapunto piece. For the foam. Yes. And then we can put the foam in and um, it's Maybe not super while exciting. I'm trimming, you can talk about the exactly. prep. Exactly. <laughs> we'll talk about prep. It's going to take me a second. Yes. It's not super quick with that, but um, you don't have to have anything ready on your zippered pouch right now you Not just yet. need to have your hoop prepped with your stabilizer and have your um your foam uh what what does kimber bell call that it's flexi is foam. it flexi foam okay so it is like um headliner basel soft and stable it's 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 bag making a little bit less than a quarter inch thick yeah foam yes that is has a nice hand and so it does. um we're gonna push the go push button, the go button. And, uh, and it's gonna go. You aren't really gonna see much of this at all. It's gonna be completely inside your bag. So uh, whatever color you have inside here will be fine. Um, if you are using a heavyweight um, cutaway in here, sometimes the stitches look really icky when it's just on the stabilizer. Running stitches in stabilizer are not always a good, good. Uh, match yeah so if it if it looks bad don't worry about it even if some of the stitches don't connect don't worry about it because you really only need this um to, to know where to put this where to put that so if it missed the first 10 stitches you don't go holes. back and worry about it you don't need to restitch because you're going to know where to put this so we are going to completely cover that up with our piece of foam and again Yours is going to be twice as big as that when you first start because. Yep, and you could cut it in half. You could cut it in half if you want. We um, just, we let, just it hang let it hang off the other side. So um, I make sure when you can't see the back of the hoop, it's really easy to short and not completely cover up that back of that square. So yes. make sure that you double check either by folding up that corner or something and make sure that you are completely over that back squaring stitch. Mm -hmm. So um, it is super easy. Unfortunately, I've done that before. Yeah, we I think have. we've all done that before where we think we've covered it because we can't see it, but it's like the angle. And what this is going to do is it's going to stitch basically where all of the pineapples are. And when we finished, we will have a pineapple quilted trapunto zippered pouch. Yes. To answer your question, Miss Belinda. Okay. Oh, I'm not. No, you are not. <laughs> She's a little furnace and I'm freezing. I'll just hold your Ooh, hand for a while. Hold my hand. <laughs> Scared, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put your sweater down? No, it's all right. It's very bulky. But it's warm. 
They look like little eggs. Kinda. Just randomly. A little stunted. A right? little bit stunted <laughs> eggs, but <laughs> eggs nonetheless. So, um, yeah, it, it's funny because all of these, I, I'm really happy with all of the, the projects. Yeah, they're very um, cute. There's a, usually one or even a, a smattering of things that you're just like, yeah, those are okay. You know, I like the bundle. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you buy a pattern set and you're like, you want one or two that's in there, but you have to buy the whole thing to get yeah. the one or the two. That's not how these are. These are really well done. Yeah. I'm, I'm very um, excited about this year's designs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think they're going to be really fun. And I, I'm feeling, you know, nothing against everybody. I'm feeling very, um, usually we get things ahead. We don't get them ahead. <laughs> Why don't we get them ahead? <laughs> yeah, not very much. But we don't. But what I did get today. Yes. Are you excited about it? I, I, I got my instructor kit for the No Place Like Home. <laughs> Nothing like last minute, right? right. So um, I'm going to start um, working on that. And uh, we're getting the stabilizer. All, now that I know everything, what's in there and, and, and everything, we're getting the stabilizer ready for the kits. So that should be um, ready. And the kits are uh, coming and should be ready here real soon. We you in front of me. Oh, we did. Look at that. Oh, and I totally hit the wrong button, but it stopped. <laughs> the foot up for me. Thanks. Oh, I think I know why. Yeah. That'll do. Oh I split it to that side because um, then it wasn't in my face. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I like I said, it wasn't yeah. in the um, uh, and so are we I will go back a little. Um got that one, got that one. We'll start there. That'll work. Um <laughs> great place to great start. Place to start. It was like I knew. <laughs> All right. So I don't think we missed anything then. No. Nope. Because of course you do need these stitches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um but yeah, that oh my the, the designs really sharp um so the no place um like home is a large it's not a bench but it's a large square pillow kind of the size of the lucky us mm -hmm. um and it's it's super cute it's it's the, the designs are very very sharp and um the colors are I think pretty generic so they'll go with i think a lot of of home decors um which of course you could swap things out if you wanted to mm -hmm. to fit more specifically, but um, it's a very robust kit. Yeah. Um, the book is like the book. Yeah, it's, big. <laughs> it's, it's thick. There's a lot going on. Um, you know, it's not just a pillow. It, there's a lot going on in, in this, and you get um, some free quilting designs that you could use if you have clear blue tiles. Um, so there's lots going on in it. So um, I was uh, very pleasantly surprised with all of the information and designs mm -hmm. and stuff that was packed into the kit. Yeah. So I'm um, very excited about it. Not that I wasn't excited before. Smattering of a bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm uh, very excited. And uh, I'm going to get to stitching here. So uh, get those videos ready for everybody and, and make a, a fun event that's coming up. So we've got that scheduled for two different um, weekends. So have a good day, Belinda. Um, we'll have two different time frames, either the third or the fourth, third and the fourth, or the 11th and the 12th. If you are thinking about it and would like to sign up, um, there are spaces available for both, though if they're both filling up. Um, there are still spaces available. So super excited. All right. That is that. That is that for, I'm going to snag this and get yes. to snipping. And uh, yes, I'm going to pass you those. All right. So I'll let, I'll leave the camera on Lisa for just a second while um, you can see what she has going on there. So this is that foam. And in order to make our pineapples uh, trapunto, trapunto is, is basically puffy. So um, we have to pull the excess flexi foam out from around the pineapple pieces. So Lisa is going to be trimming 
around those. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be um, close-ish because it's gonna do the um, some more stitching around uh, the outside. And um, I'm gonna switch back over here so we can talk just a little bit about um, your zippered pouch. So here is your zippered pouch and um, your instructions are gonna have you making some marks on here in order to get this prepped. So it's not too difficult. You have your zipper here, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay this up so that the pretty side of your uh, zipper pouch is in front of you, and the pretty side is up. And then you're going to take your ruler, and you're going to place um, the edge of your ruler in the center of the zipper. And then you're going to mark one inch over, and you're going to do that on basically either side of the zipper, so on the top and the bottom, and then again on the opposite side. So one inch to the left of the zipper, one inch to the right of the zipper. You can place a pin in there. You can place a little bit um, of a marker if you don't wanna put your pin in. Um, you will be trimming down the outside edges a little bit because the bulk of this, um, I would say there's at least a half an inch all the way around this that you're going to end up trimming after you're finished with your your uh, Trumpunto uh, pineapples. So you could put a little mark on the outside and you wouldn't have to worry that it was gonna end up in your seam or on the outside of your bag if you wanted to. So once you have those either pinned or marked, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, make sure that you only pin it through the top layer. So these blanks have a lining inside. So you're gonna pull the lining um, up and you're going to basically roll it up. So that's what we have here. And I took both edges up like this of just the lining, and then I just rolled it in place, and then, I, and then you just pin it. So um, she has you just pin right in the center of the, the zipper here. Um, I can see Lisa did move that over just a little bit. She probably just wanted to make sure that that got out of her way. Um, but when I did the first stitching, I did have it um, right over top of the center zipper and it's, it was perfectly fine. So you don't need to worry that it's going to get caught as long as you're using the rest of the markings. So once you have your lining pulled away and pinned out of place, um, then you're going to want to use uh, a pen and a ruler and you're going to draw a line from the pins or the markings, the one inch marks, all the way across the top and then below the zipper as well. So on both sides, so the left side and the right side of the zipper, you're gonna draw a single line. That's gonna give you the top of your quilting design. Um, and so once you have that, then you are going to need to make sure that you know where the center of your bag is. So, um, they recommend that you fold it so that you have pretty sides together and then you're gonna like finger press. You don't wanna use your iron and press this down because that would create a really big crease, but I just finger pressed it and then you can draw a line with your water soluble or you can put a pin in the area where your center is. And then after Lisa is finished trimming, the next thing that we're going to stitch out is going to be a placement line. So it's gonna be kind of like um, a small T, it's gonna be one long line and then a little nudge. And that's going to be the place where you put your center and then that top line that you're gonna be doing is going to be where you're going to line up uh, the line that you drew. So that's how we're gonna get our piece in place. And then you can, of course, I did tape it down. I wasn't sure how it was going to, to stitch out. So I taped it along the outside edges and um, Actually, then it did all of the stitching by itself because somebody uh, came in and I, I walked away from the machine. And, and when I came back, uh, it was done. Voila. Voila. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure what direction it actually stitches the pineapples in, but um, it, it didn't uh, grab anything and everything went well. So let's take a peek over here. Looks like she's doing really good. She's a little more than halfway done. And just a couple more. So the instructions are really well done um, as in Kimber Bell fashion. I didn't do anything special. I followed her directions exactly. Wait, what? I know. <laughs> what was that? <laughs>
oh, it must be a, oh, wait, that's not a, any day of the week. Right? <laughs> <laughs> know what day that would be <laughs> all right one more not a lot of different things to do with this one no but it did give me some ideas like i think this would be a really fun um project to do um and it, this trapunto would like this would be super easy to create oh absolutely the last time i created a trapunto design i did it with regular quilt batting and i just layered a bunch of this is so much easier <laughs> did it that old-fashioned way i did do it in my embroidery machine but it still was yeah way more difficult than this i have done some trapunto it's been a little while um i did one one time where um we like slit the back of the muslin behind it and stuffed it it wasn't a lot of fun but this was like instant gratification right all right so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to stitch that placement line so i've kept the same thread in here and we're going to go ahead and do that and then um when that's done we'll take this off and lisa can um show you guys how to line that up under the camera and then i'm going to change both the bobbin thread and the top Here you go. You might want to tape that um, one one of the edges in place just so that. Yep. Um, I know you're not a big taper, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> so the important part on this, I think, is making sure that you have um, your your bag going in the correct direction. Otherwise, uh, your pineapples will be upside down. So here is my notch, which is my center. And here is the line. And that line is going to be um, the line that we've drawn here. That was the one we drew between our, um, from like our which, pinpoint to our pinpoint. That's the red. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, um, with that pin there, we're going to put our red line on the stitch line and the pin on the center line. So I am folding on the side and getting that lined up. And can I have to take you can all the way over there sorry <laughs> that's all right that was i put it there with that arm i apologize it's all right all right so once i have that one there i'm just going to go ahead and get that in place make sure that i stay centered and get this guy over here in place How can we survive without a tape dispenser? I know, right? Seems archaic. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> All right, so there we go. I'm just going to keep scooching, make sure I'm lined up. Look at that red line right up there. So I'm right where I want to be. Double checking that my pin is right on there. So that can come up. And I'm going to smooth. Make sure I don't have anything um, too bubbly. We do want to make sure we have fabric that's going to go over all of our bumps. Got a nice little line there, which I probably should have done something about. But too late now. Is there any water in that water pen? You might be able to like, um... okay. All right, take that guy out. So that he just 
double checking right on the money look at that love it when things work right <laughs> And in uh, in perfect blank world, these would be super super duper straight. But um, they definitely um, there is a little give. And I I think if you're not perfectly straight, this really won't matter because no, because it's a quilting design that goes all over. So, that's right. So if um, you're stressing at home because it's not perfectly square, don't worry about it. It will not be noticeable. All right. So we now have a um matching bobbin in again we're doing quilting and we are using quilting thread so just to make sure that we don't have any tension issues um is why we're doing the things that we're doing um so again if you're not doing that type of thread that we are it's gonna fit all the way oh yeah maybe i tape the pin in yeah don't do that no you might want to take your pins out Took the center pin out. You did. And now I take the thread down. <laughs> Stinker. Okay. There we go. These are little guys. They are. I was having trouble finding any other pins. All right. <laughs> so we are right on the money. We are ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Rock and roll. I know. I thought exactly the same thing. It's so close. Oh. Interesting. What'd we do? I don't know. That caught somewhere. We did. That didn't sound nice at all. Let's, uh... Apparently it's because I'm sitting here. I should have just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, that was the key. We're going to just... Uh... is so close that it is it so like close over there is no it? room i was thinking the same thing Go. no big mess so Yeah, I don't think that will matter. Eh, we're just going to make sure that we don't stitch in a big tail that doesn't want to come out. Ooh, that won't work either. Yeah. Will it? Take your bag out. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's try it again. Do we need to back up? Or I don't think is so. Is that going to be all right? It, no, that's, it just ends up being a trim line, so we have right. enough of it there. Oh, and so it's just going to make a knot and do what we did last time. <laughs> All right. All right. So now let's start the pineapples. So this is about five minutes. Yeah. And then the embroidery is done. Yeah, it's not a, um, it's, it, I think the, the hardest part of the project was probably um, trimming the, the, foam. the foam. I'm sure that's the part that takes the longest. And that wasn't hard. It just was like, you know, when you had a couple that were close, getting in the between. lift yeah. to get your scissors underneath in there was a little tight, but it wasn't yeah. hard by any stretch. Right. Yeah, you don't want to cut through your tape wiser in this instance. But it is super cute, isn't it? It is really cute. We were both pretty surprised by, um, like, the cuteness. You said you were totally into pineapples right now. I am really into pineapples. I'm not sure exactly why. I like pineapple. I mean, I don't buy pineapple and cut it up. Right. But I like pineapple. 
I love it when I get like a salad or something that has pineapple in it mm -hmm. or um, like pineapple on your pizza. I like pineapple on my pizza and I like pineapple on my ham like mm -hmm. as a decorative thing and then to eat it with I yeah. but um, I haven't I haven't put pineapple on a ham in years but it's really good. Um, I like the um, the pineapple but I'm funny about my fruit mixing so I, I always eat the pineapple first and, and then, then eat the eat, ham. Right? So or the same thing with my pizza. Like I like pineapple on my pizza because I like to eat pineapple but I don't like to eat the pineapple actually as a blend of on the pizza I like to eat it off of the pizza <laughs> I'm not really sure why I have that thing it's just a weird but I'm aware thing. that you do yeah it's just a weird mm -hmm. thing this is super cute so I'm not I don't know that you guys can really see it you can see it actually up here a little better how the pineapples are poofy yeah that is that trapunto so if you have not seen um, that trapunto look before that is that that little poof there. That is what the Trapunto effect is giving you. Lisa likes baked pineapples with cherries. Yeah, I haven't done that in so long. I used to like get the cans that have their and then toothpick them and the whole shebang. It's been years since I've yeah. done that. And then you take the drippings and you put brown sugar in it and thicken it. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. This is a cute quilting design with or without Trapunto. Yeah. But it's a loose enough design that if you had some decorative threads and you wanted to um, you wanted to try something out, I think that a variety of different types of threads would work well in this design. It's not a super tight design. Mm -hmm. It's so strange. You know, when we first started doing quilting in the embroidery booth, nobody did single run designs. Everybody always did them to look like red work designs. And they never looked pretty on the back. And um, I, it's nice that uh, people stopped doing that. <laughs> look how pretty it is. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves a good loop. <laughs> and why not? Hmm. What are you thinking about? That looks weird. Mm. Like uh, oversized? Mm -hmm. It looks like clothes with the pineapple is a little too tight mm. for the spiky beef. You could go in and edit that. I totally could do that. You got you got some time to do that? <laughs> not in the next month. No, no, I do not. I took home a bunch of heat transfer vinyl because I have this project that I want to do. And I'm like, why was I? I think I'm not going to get to it for at least a month. By the time I get to it, I won't need the sweatshirt that I'm going to put it all on. It'll be spring. <laughs> It'll be spring and I won't be needing a sweatshirt. Keep reading. Read through it. Right? <laughs> Just ignore it. All right. All right. So, so we are going to remove the stabilizer. Yes. And if you were doing this at home, you would do one more side of this. We had some movie magic and had one side done um, this time. It's literally the same thing, just repeating it in the opposite direction. To, yep. On the other side. So now we can trim the excess stabilizer from the back. Take our tape off. So we have that squaring stitch. We're gonna just follow that all the way around. Be careful 
that you don't cut the actual bag pieces themselves. So um, I get kind of close and then I just kind of push so that I'm not opening and closing. So that way I can't accidentally slice into what? Lisa said we're her sewing celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. We're awesome. That always freaks me out when somebody says they put us up on a big TV. Oh my God. And I'm, I know. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry for your, so anybody sorry. else in your house. <laughs> of course, that wasn't quite as funny as the person who said, um, you know, it's nice to see you out of the closet. And I was like, what? what? I was like, I, I didn't know I was in the closet. He's like, oh, I totally didn't mean it that way. My <laughs> wife's TV is in the closet. <laughs> I don't know that you shared that with me before. Mm -hmm. That's really funny. Yeah. That one's a good one. But I was like, hmm. <laughs> Betcha he felt a little awkward at that point, huh? Maybe Probably just, by just my per per uh, perplexed look. I was like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's okay if you're in the closet. But Absolutely. I, that but was not, I was like, I, I didn't Thank know you that. for pulling me out. <laughs> I, I, I was like, yeah. I was like, how, how did I get out of the closet? <laughs> I was like, you're going to have to explain this to me. He's like, oh, he's like, I realized how that sounded <laughs> after the words came out of my mouth. That was not what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So somebody's watching us in the closet. Okay. <laughs> I'm just keeping my um, finger underneath just to make sure I'm not catching anything I don't want to. Okay. Now we just have lining and. Um, yes. So um, now what you are going to do is um, unfold your lining. And then um, you're going to want to yep, sort of fold it out. And from the center notch, you are going to want to, using a ruler, extend the pouch tack down lines from the velveteen shown in red. So um, we have the lining down. Oh, down here. Yep. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go uh, want to go all the way across. So this way. Yes. Okay. Onto your lining pieces. Did I, I thought I brought the marking pen over. Um, I have a red one. That is what I used. I probably didn't bring a ruler though, did I? Nope. Yeah, we have a lot of things over here, but I, I don't know that we have, um, oh, we have this. Nope, that's definitely too uh, thin, that's too wishy. Mm -hmm. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line, um, and we're basically creating cut lines, so the side line pieces. After we've drawn our lines, we are going to be measuring from the measure six and a half inches from the center notch, stitch in part two, direction step seven. <laughs> Okay, whatever you blah 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 blah. Exactly <laughs> what I just heard. All right. Um I am drawing these. Yes, across to your lining. Across to my lining. Mm hmm So, it, so it, that should be the wrong side of a lining. You're basically gonna do it on both sides. Yep. yep. Well, or technically all four sides. I'm trying to get my <laughs> zipper to lay flat so I can draw a little bit easier. Right. So okay. um, it does want to make sure when you're doing that, that your underneath pieces here probably doesn't matter for this, but you want to make sure that your corners are are centered or together. See that, that outside okay. edge in that one. So I'm supposed to match those. Yes. I know more difficult than uh, it seems. 
there's my square. Yep, and that it suggests means, that you pin. Yep, got that. Which is kind of going to pull your zipper sort of upright. So now um, on the directions, you can pin both of your lining pieces together. Um, and, and that way you only have to draw one line like uh, from the top because you'll basically be cutting underneath blind. It sounds super scary, doesn't it? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. That's not even so close we are going to gonna be trimming down at least an inch off of the bottom. So uh, they are going to be uneven. Don't worry about it. Yes? Yes. All right. So I have my corners here matched. Mm -hmm. You can't see me. Where's my doodad? I've got these corners here matched um, with my trim corners, or stitched corners, excuse me, and mm -hmm. I pinned those in place which lines up my zipper. Yep. And then kind of smoothed everything across. And then I have this pinned here. So everything is staying in position. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to use a straight edge and extend out those side stitch lines, which are actually going to be cut lines, correct? Yes. And I'm going on this guy and then the rest of the way that guy. Yes. <laughs> Slippery little suckers. Feel good. That'll be all right. I can meet that in the middle, I think. Go into the left. There we go. This will take care of any of the bags uncenteredness. Yes. All right. On that line there. Okay. All right. So now you are going to measure six and a half inches from the center notch that was stitched. So looking at the instructions, does that make sense to you? So the notch, the little time, yep, the, so the, the top, plus part. Mm -hmm. So the top of the center notch. So there's two lines that are there, the mm -hmm. first squaring stitch and the, set, and the actual squaring line. So we want the center notch. Okay. Got it. And then six and a half inches down and make a mark uh -huh. and make a opposite side. Making You're making a mark on your lining. Oh, good. Because there wasn't six and a half inches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Um, and if you did the smaller size, so if you were using a five by seven design, you would be measuring five and a half inches down just right. as a, as a note here. So I am lining up with the notch mm -hmm. and I am on the top line, the closest to the zipper because that is the actual notch line. Yep. And I'm going six and a half inches into the lining. Yes. Um, I have my ruler on the one inch line just so I can make sure that I'm going straight, which means I am marking at seven and a half because I'm already down, I'm down one inch. Just so if anybody's thinking I'm screwing something up by that picture, <laughs> I am, I'm mathing. You're mathing. It's mathing. good. Am I just putting a dot? Um, so it, it has you draw like a, a slightly, you're going to basically, that's going to become your bottom. That's my bottom. Then. Yes. And so okay. now what you're going to do is you're going to turn this. And use that line and. Connect. Yes. And okay. try to be square. Okay. 
ish. <laughs> square ish. No, yeah, that's actually square. I'll be done. Yay. All right, and I'm connecting. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now I feel like this is going to get um this is going to get wordy. Okay. So fold and align the top ends of the, the zipper teeth so they are together and facing towards the velveteen. So this the zipper tape you are going to fold down. Yep, I got it. So away from your lining in case that doesn't make sense to anybody. Um, and so then zipper teeth are pointing towards the velveteen, not towards the line. Yes. And then they want you to pin through the zipper tape um, in those corners. Do you have enough pins over there? Pin through here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Pin through like the zipper tape part to hold that t down and together. They have you kind of pinning towards the outside edge, so not like into the Where stitched are line. Kind of it? Yeah. Trying to pin. <laughs> I couldn't find the long ones. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> Okay, so zipper teeth mm -hmm. pointing towards our stitches. Yes. And then on the other side, I do have my zipper teeth open in case anybody didn't do that. Yes, otherwise um, it's gonna be really hard to get in there when you sew this around. You want to have your two pieces um, with the, the zipper teeth going towards the stitching, which is towards the velveteen. Just don't want to go. Probably, well, I was gonna say probably yes, being say difficult. No. All right, there we go. They were being difficult, but I got it. All right, so make sure that I'm not twisted in there though, because that would suck. Like really bad. We're good. Just, just peek it. It's definitely better to peek now. Peek now or forever hold your peace. Peek now or forever hold your unfinished project. <laughs> All right. So lining those little babies up. Last pin I have available to me. That's good. That's the last one. And pin in place. Okay. All right. Now, um, we're totally not prepared to sew, but... Um, what we're going to do is, I'm assuming this is your... That is your sew line. Your sew line. So you are going to leave a three inch opening at the bottom oh, here. here. Yep. Okay. So. Yep, I usually just make a little mark. It's just a visual reminder to myself to stop. You can put a pin there if you want. I like double lines. Mm -hmm. um, then you are gonna sew um, basically do, three do. and a half sides, right? All the way, All around, way around, starting and stopping. Highly that recommend opening. reinforce the zippers. Yep. Okay, so go back, reverse, mm -hmm. and then go back over it again so that you have an extra strong um, piece there. Yep, because that will take the brunt it's, of it. It is. Um, and like then it. they recommend that after you have done your sewing, um, you use some pinking shears to trim up the area so that it doesn't unravel. Um, you could, of course, uh, if you have a serger, you could sew um, on your serger. You could serge around this edge. You could even serge through that zipper part, just making sure that you take the, you just need to make sure you take those your pins out, out of that and make sure that your teeth stay together because that would be bad if they get off because then it won't, it won't move like you want it to. So mm -hmm. take your time when you get to that point and make sure everything stays in position um, once you have to take that pin out. Yes. So, um, so they recommend once you have this all turned and stitched that you do um, some hand stitching down at the bottom. Um, you could definitely um, use a little bit of like um, steam a seam or um, 
uh, like seam tape down there at the bottom if or you and, and I would just Sew take it, it with to, machine yeah exactly <laughs> I would just take it it's the inside seam I would just take it to my sewing machine and sew close to the edge once you've turned it yep. don't do that before. before you turn it or you don't have anywhere to turn it that's to. right it's really hard to get the bag and that is it that's all you have to do so it's so. not a difficult project whatsoever nope. Um, probably one of the easiest um, projects. Very, very straightforward. Um, a little bit of fumbling with this to get everything in the right spot, but not difficult by any stretch of the imagination. No. So um, very, very adorable. And um, again, make sure that you open that zipper before you sew it. Otherwise, it will look like that forever. Yes, it will be much more difficult to sew later. But that's it. Unfortunately. Oh, that so, microphone is heavy. <laughs> they are not light. Like, there goes my shirt. <laughs> um, but that's it. That's all we have. That's what we've got for you. So that is February's Digital Dealer Exclusive Stitch Along. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, we have them available in the store still. We do still um, have some kits extra available. Kits, so uh, they are on our website. Um, just to be clear, um, you do need to purchase both the design if you want it. And, and the, the kit, kit, if you want it, if you want it, they are separate. If you are not part of the whole um, year plan, and that's not how you purchased it, there no. are two. The design is not included in the, in the kit, kit that you purchase from us. The design you can purchase that from us, and then you will get it from Kimber Bell in an email. Yes, um, but that doesn't automatically come in that kit. It is two separate things. Yes. So. Um, that's, that's, that's what we got. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, I got to find the button again. <laughs> <laughs>